Hello and welcome to Excel tutorial from IT Army and this is tutorial number 17. So in this tutorial we're going to talk about some more advanced stuff related to errors. In the previous video we talked about different types of errors in Excel and let's talk a little bit more. So one thing you might have noticed that when you were working with errors you were getting a green indication except this one, except the railroad track. You don't get any kind of indication but if you have a look in other errors like value error you are seeing over here in the top left corner you are getting a green mark and when you when you bring the mouse over it and it shows you a tooltip and when I click on it it gives you the a menu so we're gonna work on this today so you can see almost all of them they are giving the same mark and you are getting the solution so uh, except NA I didn't show you how to use NA using the formula I have just literally typed over here so in this case what's happening is when, when you click over here so uh, when you bring the mouse over it you get this menu with the mouse you can simply click on it it gives you the menu over here right and if you are a keyboard lover you can just press alter key with the property key or the context menu key and you get this menu and if you don't know what is property key let, just let me open the on-screen keyboard and from here you just need to select that cell and press alter key along with this property key on your keyboard it may be just on the left hand side of the control key on the on-screen keyboard is showing over here so when I click on that it's gonna show you this menu right let me show once more alter key with the prop where are you yeah alter key with property and you get this and if you want one more shortcut you can just simply press shift alt and F10 and you get this so you have two keyboard shortcuts alt with prop or shift alter F10 okay so let's close this okay so what options you are getting over here is that the first thing you are getting over here that you want to have help on this one so if I click on this and it's gonna open online help okay so this is the page you are getting and for different types of errors you're gonna see different page it is telling you that hash value is Excel's way of saying that something is wrong with the way your formula is type or there's something wrong in the cells that you are referencing and then below if you scroll you get the list of functions you can select what function you are using and then it's going to give you help and then we have bunch of other links available to solve or fix this error right so let me close it i know what is my error okay let's talk about some other options over here other option is you can say just show me calculation steps so it's going to show if you're uh, if whatever function you have type it's a complex calculation it will show you step by step how to perform so um, i'll be creating a later on some video on that how to do the formula auditing there i'm going to talk about that thing then we have ignore errors so i'm saying okay i'm fine with this error just ignore it and then we have i know what is the mistake and i want to edit this formula i click on that and you go to the edit mode and you can retype the formula the last option says that go to error checking options I want to shut this error option off so if I click on this it takes you to the Excel options window with the formulas tab selected and you are over here error checking rules if you want to disable this rule this particular rule cells containing formula that result in an error you can see in the tooltip also showing you that if you are having hash value or hash division by zero or any other error is going to give you a warning so if I just turn it off and click on OK and boom that notification is gone how to get back to that window directly you can press alter key with F that is going to the backstage and then you can see it has highlighted the last option says that press the T letter T from your keyboard I press T and it takes me to this window I need to go to the second option on the left hand side that says formula I need to press letter F and I'm over here in the same window so now I can select it back and okay I'm fine with this okay so this is a good way to uh, disable or enable if you want to see those errors or warnings or not let's go back and talk about some other errors alt F T F right it's pretty quick way I don't know uh, why people love using mouse I, lo I love using keyboard so now let's talk about the other error so it says that inconsistent calculated column formula in a table so as of now I have not talked about table but I'm gonna show you for the for the sake of this error so let's click on OK and I'm gonna create a table so just create a new sheet put this sheet at the last and then I'm gonna create a table so in this table I'm gonna say we have uh, 
name of the students and then we have marks of students and then I say we have Alex, Bob, Chris, Dale and let's give them some marks good guy okay now I want to have calculate the percentage and for percentage calculation I simply say equals marks obtained divided by all these marks are out of 100 I say 100 and then I pull it down and let's format them as percentage clicking over here control shift percentage is the shortcut so don't worry we'll talk about all these stuff later on so you can see you are getting the percentage now if anyone plays with this formula for one particular student and I say plus 0.1 that means 10 percent and I press enter key and you see you are getting this error right this is a range so let me convert it to a table in table also you get the same error so control T is the shortcut for creating a table what it is we'll talk about later so okay so now you can see I have created a table you are getting a special tab over here for designing table so now you can see when I bring the mouse over here is giving you a warning and when I click on it is gonna show that you are having an inconsistent calculated formula for this particular row what do you want to do you want to restore the calculated formula as you are having in other records if you are fine with that you can say restore so if I just go to checking options and if I disable that option and press OK and boom that error is gone right so this is how we can fix that error so alt F T F and switch it on now talking about the next error that says cells containing year represented as two digits. So two digits representation for a date. Normally it would be happy when I say one slash that is first January 1st slash 18. It automatically understands I'm talking about 2018, right? But if I type formula in a string representation, I say equals within double quotes one slash one slash 18 double quotes closed enter is gonna give me warning over here what is that morning alter prop key as saying that you want to convert it to 19 xx means 19 18 or 2018 so I say I want to convert it to 2018 right so these two options you are getting over here if I disable that option don't show me this warning related to two digit ear representation click on ok and boom that error is gone right let's go back alt F T F and next one is that numbers formatted as text or preceded by apostrophe so how to work with that if you type any number Excel automatically recognizes that it is a number and it formats it just does the right orientation it aligns it right and even if you are typing a number in scientific notation you say 2 e 10 that means 2 into 10 to the power 10 enter and it is accepted as a number right so in case if you want to type a number literally as a text maybe it's a phone number you don't want to perform some arithmetic calculation on that you normally format it as a string or you say I want to you just put apostrophe during typing what is apostrophe on screen keyboard and here we have apostrophe so let's type one, one thing I can do over here I can format it as a string so I can say just format it yes text format it as a text right you can format it as a text right other option is when you are typing it you just put apostrophe and then you type whatever number you have and you press enter key you're gonna see that it will not get right aligned I press enter key and it is taken as a string so in this case when you are seeing that you are again getting a warning and when I click on this and it's saying that whether you want to convert this to a number or not so I don't want to convert it so that's why this option is for that if I disable it no more warning alt F T F and I switch it on other option you are getting whether you want to get the warning related to have formula inconsistent with other formulas in the region this is exactly the same as you are having over here if I convert this table back to the back to the range convert it back to the range okay now you can see now it's a range no more a table and now you are getting the same error now if I click on that it says that inconsistent formula and you want to copy the formula from the above cell or not right so this option you are getting from this one if I disable this okay and boom that warning is gone 
So this is how we can work with this formula and switch it on. Now talking about these guys, formula which omits cells in a region. So in this case that if we have some numbers given over here and we have done some calculation. Let's see, let's do calculation over here. I, I press alter equal for auto sum. And no, you guessed it wrong. I want to, I want to, what's happening? I want to sum up these numbers and press enter key, right? So it's working perfectly fine. But as soon as I enter some more number over here and I press enter key, it says, hey, you are missing something. You want to update the formula? This number is not included in the range. So if I say update formula and it updates and includes this number on also in the range, right? So I do control Z and go to the error checking. I say, don't notify me about this warning. I click on okay and that notification is gone. So this is how we can configure this one. Second option is unlocked cells containing formula. So we have not talked about locking and unlocking again. We'll be talking about that thing later on. But as of now, for the sake of completeness, I'll just show you that if you are having a formula and I have removed the lock of that cell, it's going to give me warning. So let's see. So if for instance, uh, let's do one some something else. I have some number 10, 20, and I say equals to these two numbers, right? And I right click go to format cells and on the protection tab i just say remove the lock for this cell okay and you start getting this warning that you have unlocked cell that is having a formula so error checking and don't give me warning about locked cells having the having the formula click on okay and boom that error is gone so ftf i'm fine with that another option is what's happening yeah okay another option is that formula referring to an empty cell normally it is happy with that if you are having a formula you said this equals to this cell plus this cell although there is nothing in a35 and b35 it will be happy zero no problem right but if you want to switch it on alt ftf and I say show me warning if I'm pointing to a formula and that those cells are empty. If I'm pointing to a cell and that those cells are empty, just show me a warning. If I click OK, you see this guy is not happy now. If you put some value and now it is happy. So Alt F T F. So this is by default off. Okay, so last option is data entered in the table is invalid. Now here it is talking about data type, although Excel doesn't care about data type in any column, in any cell, you put any kind of data, it would be very much happy to accept that. But in case if you have you have some concept of external data, you have some, if you have external data coming to Excel and that ex, the backend data from where the data is coming, that respects the data type it there we have definition of which column is having what type of data is going to give me this error so i'm not going to show you over here because i don't have sharepoint but this option is there if you are getting data from somewhere outside and you type some invalid data then it's going to give you warning so i guess i have covered all of these rules so hope you find this video useful if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video